Hello everyone, hi. This video is to guide you on what to do if you accidentally forwarded your FUSD to an external wallet. Because right now, FUSD is only available in FinSwap in our own SCF chain. Uh, it is not uh, compatible to the other exchanges or um, external wallets, third-party wallets. So if if you had done that, then then you know the FUSD would be stuck in the blockchain. Then a few more steps has to be done in order to retrieve your FUSD, which is uh, slightly cumbersome. And um, I myself, I am learning today this process. And thanks to my good friend Carlos, who has done two YouTube videos pertaining to this matter on how to retrieve back your FUSD and uh, so let's learn together on the other hand in the unfortunate case should you have transferred your FUSD to an exchange like Binance then I'm afraid it might not be possible to retrieve at this juncture okay only if it was transferred to some third-party wallets instead of exchanges then there is still some hope okay so myself um, I am not familiar with the process and uh, partnering with Carlos my good friend he has kindly shared his YouTube videos and at the same time I'm going to watch learn and share it together with you and uh, some credit mention for Carlos he also has a YouTube channel it's called KFA and you can also subscribe and like his videos without further ado let's watch his videos and learn together shall we good day dear all this is an example of how to add the SCF chain into your web3 wallet so some examples are in IM token trust etc etc so this demo is going to be in the token pocket so how do I add it I get on the three bars so there's a plus sign over here I just put the F button so I will just key in a custom network <coughs> just go to the bottom custom network so the network series will be under Ethereum so the network name I can put FCF chain so the next thing I'm going to put the RPC address so I just paste it because I already copy so make sure it's this HTTPS slash slash RPC dot XCF chain dot IO slash so if this is correct you just need to tap on the chain ID it will auto show Okay, so the chain ID you will see 288800 <coughs> then the default token is optional <coughs> you can put SCF example or you can put as you wish right so on the browser optional so on the browser side I can paste it so this is the browser chain.fcfchain.io slash once this is done confirm okay guys um i actually put the 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 is a video on the pause why it's because uh, firstly i think the sound is really the volume of the video is really soft secondly i think on the screen it looks really tiny and i don't think any of you would be able to see it visibly therefore um, instead of me recording this you know which i don't think will serve the purpose what I'm going to do is I'm going to terminate the video here and instead I'm going to post the two links to Carlos's two videos into my description box. Okay, so you can directly click into the link 
and watch the two videos if you also encounter the same mistake whereby you accidentally forwarded FUSD from the SCF wallet out to an external wallet. Okay, so you can directly click into his links. Secondly, I will also paste into the description box the URL of the SCF chains so that you can have direct access in the description box yourself. Right, and uh, when I am fully aware and familiar of the process and procedures, then perhaps someday soon I will also create a step by step guide myself to give you a very clear direction on what you need to do to recover your FUSD. Alright, so everybody, God bless and take care.